back to my channel. This is such a long past due video. I want to update everybody on my Africa missions trip that's coming up this coming May. The last that I've told YouTube was about a year ago when I found out that my trip got canceled. I'm going to start from the beginning and explain the trip as if none of you know what I'm talking about because I'm sure I have new subscribers. So I am a Christian. I am a devout Christ follower and it has been heavy on my heart over the past year and a half that I go on a full on missions trip. Personally, I didn't really want to go on a week long or a two week long. I really want to understand the culture. I want to be living their daily life and really be fully immersed in the trip. And so long story short, that's how I ended up finding this five week long trip to Namibia in Africa. But backstory, this all kind of lit a fire within me back when I was studying for the CPA exams. I was studying for BEC. I still had BEC and far left. And we were doing a book study in my Bible study at the time over the book Radical by David Platt. And I'm actually rereading it again on a, in digital format. So I'm reading it on my iPad. That book completely just changed my soul on just, I wanted to do a mission trip. So starting with that book, back when I was studying for the CPA exam, I started researching for months. I started praying about it. I was asking about it. I looked into my church's mission trips. And at the time, none of the trips that I was finding within my church really stuck out to me. So I started looking elsewhere for other organizations. And I found Experience Mission. That's the name of the organization that I'm going with. And this took about two months of research to find this place. And it was one work night. I was up all night. I couldn't sleep. I didn't know why. I looked through all the trip options. They have so many options. And I read their mission statement to make sure that what a Christian means to them is the same as what a Christian means to me. Because as we know, culturally, not everyone's on the same page with what a real Christ follower means. But they aligned well with what I believe. So I started reading testimonies. I started watching videos. And I just began crying. This was at like 3 in the morning on like a Tuesday night before I had to go to work the next day. And I was like, this is an answer to prayer. The Lord has found this trip for me. He's telling me this is where I need to go. So that's how I found the Namibia trip. So more about the trip itself. I do have a profile that you guys can read about my trip. You can read about my story. You can also donate if you want to help fund the trip. I'll have it all linked down in the description below. I will be finding out more about the trip the closer we get to it, but I will be going with a group of people that I don't know. I have not met these people yet. It is a five week long trip, so from May 17th to June 17th. We will be helping out in the local schools with their aftercare, after school. We'll be helping with their Bible studies and their church services and in the marketplace where they sell a lot of things. And really we'll be living daily life with these people and these locals and really understanding their culture while also preaching the gospel as well. More than anything, showing the love of Christ and again, I'll be finding out more of the gritty details as it gets closer to the trip. But I know what you guys are thinking. Coronavirus. COVID. It's probably going to get canceled again. Don't get your hopes up. Yes, I was in a pretty dark place when it got canceled last year. I had all my eggs in one basket. I was very hopeful. I basically put my whole life on hold for this trip and it got canceled. I kind of lost myself there for a little bit. So just over this past year, I have grown so much more maturely, but mostly spiritually. Just understanding God's will a little better and understanding that it wasn't meant that I go. And I realize now in hindsight that I wasn't ready to go. My heart wasn't in 100% the right place. I just feel an overwhelming peace right now about this trip. And it very well could get canceled. Obviously, coronavirus is changing by the day, but I definitely think I'll be in a better place if it does get canceled and I'll be more understanding. But there is some good news. There is some hope. Last night we got an email from the director saying that she's been in contact with our sponsor in Namibia where we'll be going and specifically where we'll be going. The coronavirus is not as big of a threat as it is over here in the U.S. and they are fully accepting us as of right now. They are excited for our arrival and my team will be going for a month, but there's also teams that will be going with us that are staying for three months. There'll be a lot of us getting there and then we kind of do our own going in our own little groups. Very good news so far. That was as of yesterday, February 5th. I also just want to say that book Radical, it did change my heart and my soul and it sparked this whole passion for me going on an international missions trip. But I do not think that every Christian is called to do international missions or called to travel and to preach the gospel elsewhere. We are all called to be missionaries. Every single person that believes in Jesus Christ, we are to spread the gospel and save the others around us to glorify the kingdom. But you can do that that at your workplace. In fact, this book Garden City that I just picked up started reading this week. Garden City helps affirm your purpose within your job every day, in your career, in your family, in your town that you're living in. And it's basically saying you don't need to travel to be a full-time missionary. The people around you in your career are there for a reason, that you're ministering to those nearest you for a reason. And you're passionate about accounting for a reason. And so I absolutely love this book. I'm a little over halfway with it now and it is so great. I know I'm called to go on this trip, but I don't think everyone's called 
default to go on big trips. So I just wanted to clear that up. So ways that I'm preparing for this trip is physically, um, I need to be fit. I need to have muscles because we will be backpacking across Namibia. I will be carrying all of my belongings in a backpack. And last year I did the whole kickboxing thing and I had muscles I've never even seen before and it was great. And then the trip got canceled. So I'm gonna be taking the next couple months of hopefully getting fit and getting muscles again to prepare for this trip. Also buying all the items that I'll need. I still have a few things left on the item list to purchase. Another thing that you don't really think about is preparing your hair and skin. So I'm a daily hair washer. I know that's bad for you, whatever, this, that, and the other. My hair is very healthy. I wash it every single day, but you're not supposed to be washing your hair every day. My hair literally gets so oily, it's disgusting. So I will be training my hair in a very not fun process over these next couple months. So that'll be great. And also my skin, I've gotten kind of into skincare during this whole past year. I mean, who hasn't? We've been getting into all these random hobbies while we're locked in the house. And I need to kind of take that away from my skin and let it be more natural and produce its own oils to take care of itself because obviously in Africa things will be a little different I'm not gonna have all of the resources that I have here. I know a lot of you are wondering if we're gonna have the COVID vaccine because it's not exactly readily available everywhere and I don't think it will be before May because May is only a couple months away. I don't think we'll be mandated to get it if we have the opportunity to get it. For those of the people on my trip that work in healthcare or in education, they probably have already had the vaccine. We'll find out closer to the trip, but there are several other recommended vaccines that I'll be getting. One is typhoid, but there's like rabies vaccine and obviously malaria pills. So I will be taking care of that as well before I leave for my trip. As far as spiritual preparation, I'm gonna be praying a lot. I've asked those in my inner circle to be praying for me as I prepare for this trip, my family, my friends. And I have a meeting with our missions pastor at my church this coming week to talk to him about the trip because he's very experienced in Africa. He's gone on many trips there. The trip again is not with my church, but I'm hoping he can give me some valuable insight. I also had a two hour long phone conversation with one of my good friends who actually lived in India on a missions trip for about six months. She would have still been there if it wasn't for coronavirus shutting the border and making her come back home. It was just an answered prayer of the insight that she provided me. And I also have a FaceTime call this coming week with one of my college friends that lived in Haiti. He's been in Haiti several times here and there. He does a lot of great work there. I'm hoping he can help shed some light on my trip as well. And if you guys have watched my vlogs and you know I've been in a reading frenzy. I'm reading all kinds of books. So I did mention Garden City. I am reading it. It's not as much mission based like I mentioned, but it is overall just affirming our belief and our purpose as Christians. And I really like it. I'm trying to read the New Testament for this year. Again, reading Radical by David Platt. That book is what inspired me to even look for a missions trip. So I'm reading it again. And I'm sure before my trip, I'll have read 10 more books. So I'm just trying to prepare the best that I can before I leave so I can do the best work that God has called me to do while I'm there. So if you want to help at all, with my preparation for this trip. If you're a fellow Christ believer, I do please ask that you pray for me as the Lord is preparing my heart, my mind, my soul for this big trip. I'm sure it's going to be life changing, but more than anything to gain this valuable experience to take back with me to the U.S. and back to Knoxville, Tennessee and to minister to those around me. My testimony will be changed. I'm sure I'm going to see things that other people aren't able to see. And for people who don't have like eight weeks of vacation leave for their work and can't go on a month long missions trip, I can kind of testify for them. The Lord has created us for community. We're all to rely on each other. So I'm just more than anything excited, but also just thankful and grateful for this opportunity. And I think the Lord can use it as we all rely on each other when I come back. And if you want to help financially, I am short, I think $1,700. So a little less than $2,000 that I need to fundraise within the next couple months for this trip. Do not at all feel any pressure whatsoever to donate to this trip. I just want to first of all, thank all of you who already have over this past year. For instance, one lady that I had never met before from YouTube donated $1,000 to my trip in the first 30 minutes of my video even going up explaining the trip and answered prayer from the Lord. I, I just hope that she's been blessed because of that. That is so tremendous. I would never expect that out of anybody. I'm just so thankful that you guys have gotten me to where I'm at already and that it is feasible for me to fundraise the rest of this. If you do want to help donate to the trip, I'd be more than grateful if you did, but no pressure. So just your encouraging words can go a long way and I think I'm going to need that over these next couple months and I'm I'm sure when it gets closer I'm gonna be feeling more feelings of doubt I mean I don't feel qualified to minister to anybody but the Lord has called me to do this and I just pray that I can do it the best way that I can but also more practically I have really 
severe food allergies. You guys probably remember from November, I got stabbed with the EpiPen. I, I'm a little concerned about that going on my trip, but that's something that the Lord will take care of, but that's something I need to be very prepared and aware of what I'm eating or what the trees that I'm around. There's concerns like that that you could be praying for as well. Also my IBS, my digestive issues. It's not a fun topic to talk about, but it is a big part of my life. Going on a trip like this, there's not gonna be a selection. There's not gonna be a big buffet for me to choose what I, what I can or can't eat. So I do pray that there are options for me and that I can stay nourished while I'm there. And these are things that the Lord will take care of me. I am 100% certain about it, but it's not gonna be easy. This is not gonna be like the Lord opening the heavens above and giving me down some fried chicken. Like <laughs> this is gonna be challenging. It's gonna stretch my faith, I'm sure, but it's also going to strengthen my faith. And I'm confident in that and I'm really excited for the opportunity. But that's all you guys. I just wanna give you guys an update. So as of today, February 6th, I am going to Namibia, Africa in May. I am super excited. No need to drag this video on any longer than it is, but I just thank you guys so much for listening, for being with me over the past year, and also for help encouraging me when my trip got canceled. I'm just really, really excited. So I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any books that you recommend that I read that maybe helped you or maybe helped somebody that you know for a mission trip, let me know, cause I will be open. I've been reading so much lately. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.